Hey guys, this is Clint from Jeff from MoneyStephones.com and this is a quick video review of the Nokia Lumia 625. Now, when this one has been pretty successful in the low to mid-range side of the mobile market, um, we've seen the Nokia Lumia 520 and the Nokia Lumia 620 do pretty well. Um, and there's a huge demand for phones in that segment, but there's also a huge demand for phones with a huge screen. And in this case, um, Nokia figured, hey, you know what, let's just give everybody a Windows phone with a huge screen. So the 625 has the largest screen on a Windows phone so far. Um, it has a 4.7 inch screen, which is about the same size as the HTC One, um, which is a much more premium phone, of course, but um, it is pretty large. Uh, now, I'm just going to quickly go about it in terms of design, hardware, software, uh, the camera, and battery life, and call quality, and then end with a conclusion. But starting with the design, um, the 625 does look a lot like an overgrown 620. Um, the design is definitely very, very similar, as you can see. Um, it's the same translucent uh, back panel. At, but on this case, uh, Nokia hasn't actually used the dual tone of two colors. Um, so even though we reviewed a yellow, a, a green uh, 620 on the side, you'll see that the 625 doesn't have that little yellow ring that the green 620 had. Um, so that is a little bit of a disappointment. Another thing that's uh, a little annoying though, that even though this is a very nice effect in um, real life, again, the camera doesn't really catch this pretty well, but um, even though the effect is quite nice, there are these little tiny little, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but um, there are these tiny little uh, dots that you can see right here um, because of the translucent nature of the back panel. That doesn't look very visually appealing as such, but apart from that, it's uh, not too bad. Um, like the 820 and the 620, you can actually remove the back panel. It's a little bit annoying to do so I won't do it right now but basically you have to just um, clip on at the sides and push it off again I'm not going to do it right now but I'll have a separate video on that maybe um, apart from that the uh, design of the 620 was really nice I really liked it because it was a much smaller phone in comparison the 625 is much larger so it is a little hard to use um, for a 4.7 inch phone um, the Edges are curved, which means it fits very nicely into your palm, and you can kind of reach almost all sections of the screen except for maybe that side. Um, so using it in daily life is not really that hard. It's just a little bit of getting used to. Um, maybe because this is the first Windows phone with such a huge screen, uh, it took a little bit of getting used to for me, but um, typing, for example, is not too hard at all. You can actually type very well and Windows Phone definitely has one of the best keyboards out there so not too bad uh, from that perspective um, it measures about 133 by 72 by 9.2 millimeters and weighs in at about 159 grams which isn't too bad um, so apart from that the build quality is really nice it is very solid no creaks or uh, any problems with our unit so far um, I will note though that the window screens don't seem to be backlit, which is a little bit annoying at night. But once you get used to it, you really don't think about it that much. But that is definitely something to note. Uh, there has been a little bit of cost cutting, I guess. Uh, another area where the cost cutting has happened is the screen. It's a 4.7 inch screen, which is pretty nice, but it is the same 480 by 800 pixel resolution as the Lumia 520 and the 620. Um, as a result, you can actually see pixels on the screen. Um, it might not be uh, captured by the camera right now, but you can definitely see some pixelation. Um, I don't think it's that bad personally, and I do use a 1080p screen phone um, as my daily driver, so that is saying a lot. Um, Windows Phone also does some clever stuff like um, smoothing out the text on the main screen right there. But you do notice the low resolution when you're browsing a website or you're watching a video, for example. Um, the LCD panel used over here is also not the clear black LCD panel that they used for the 620. So it is very reflective, as you can see from all the reflections happening right now. The screen is rather reflective. Um, it's not too great to use outdoors. It's okay because it's so bright, but it's not too great uh, outdoors. I would say the screen quality is about similar to the Lumia 520. Slightly better, of course, but not too great. 
Um, above the screen, you have the Luon VGA uh, front-facing camera for video calls and selfies, I guess. Uh, and you also have the 3.5 mm audio jack right there. Uh, at the top, you have the micro USB slot for uh, port, sorry, for um, charging and connectivity. And on the right side, you have the volume rocker keys, which work pretty well. Uh, the screen lock and unlock key, and the dedicated camera key, which you can also press to open the camera app, even if it's locked. So that's your usual Windows Phone setup. Uh, nothing on this side, of course. Coming to the back, there's the 5 megapixel camera with the single LED flash. Uh, there's a very tiny little slot for for the uh, speaker, which you can see right there. It's pretty loud, not very, very loud, but pretty okay. But it does get muffled a bit if you put it on a flat surface. Uh, all in all, the 620 does have a very nice design. It is comfortable enough to use. It takes a little bit of use to you, like I said. Uh, but I do like the vibrant colors. Uh, the green color actually looks really nice in person for some strange reason, maybe the lighting. Uh, the camera is not capturing that very well, but the green quality, the green color is really cool. Uh, you also get it in yellow and red and the usual black and white. Um, coming to hardware, the Nokia Lumia 625 has a dual core Qualcomm 1.2 GHz processor, which is faster than the 1 GHz processor that was used on the 520 and 620. So as a result, things are slightly faster compared to the 620 and the 8, uh, uh, the 520. Um, things don't really take that much time to open up. On the 620 and 520, even though they were pretty fast in comparison to Android phones, they did take a little while to start up and you would occasionally see a loading screen or two or a resuming screen if you were switching back. Uh, that's not really an issue on the 625, as you can see. It's not as fast as the... Uh, Nokia Lumia 820 or the 925 or the 920 because those have uh, a much faster processor but this isn't too bad at all uh, in daily usage you probably won't notice any issues at all with this phone because it is that fast from that perspective there is only 512 MB of RAM though so you will notice some limitations like some apps a very few select handful of apps on the App Store uh, will not be able to install on this phone uh, but to be honest, Microsoft has done a very good job of trying to make sure every app works on 512 MB devices. So, so far, it's not really that big of an issue. Um, what I do think is a little bit of an issue, though, is that there's only 8 GB of internal memory. Uh, that's not too much, unfortunately, but uh, it's not too bad either. You do get a micro SD card slot as well inside. Um, so you do have space. Uh, but the 8 GB of memory does fill up once you install a couple apps and stuff. Uh, you only get about 7.2 GB available to use. Uh, apart from that, there is um, Bluetooth 4.0 with uh, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, GPS, uh, HSDPA. The only thing that's actually missing on this is uh, NFC. Uh, there's also, I think I can show you the... Uh, the FM radio, which uh, I think is built in, there you go, is built into this phone. You will need a headset to use it though, of course. Um, it runs the latest version of Windows Phone 8 with the Nokia Amber update. So you will see a lot of that functionality built in. Unfortunately, you don't get the uh, double tap to unlock or the sleeping screen functionality, uh, which Nokia probably removed to save battery on this. Um, so yeah, apart from that, uh, in terms of software, you have Windows Phone 8, which basically looks the same and acts the same on all the Lumia phones. There really isn't that much new here to talk about. Um, we've talked about Windows Phone a lot of times before, so you can check out the Windows Phone 8 review for a full idea, a detailed idea on what I think of Windows Phone 8. Um, it is, just to round up uh, what I think it is, a very fast operating system. There is a lack of apps, unfortunately, and there is some key functionality missing, like there is no notification center, which can be annoying. But for most people, this is a really nice phone, the phone operating system. Uh, I know a lot of people that are very happy with it, especially now that you have a third-party Instagram app uh, called Instance and a third-party Wine app. Um, so you, chances are, if you need an app, you will find it on the Windows Phone Store. It might not be the official app, but you will get third party um, apps. I'm just gonna quickly talk about the Nokia apps. There's a lot of uh, Nokia apps built in. There's Here Maps and Here Drive, which are really, really good. Um, I don't, 
I'm not exactly sure what you think of them versus uh, Google Maps, but they're pretty okay. Nokia Smart Cam is a really cool piece of software. Nokia Music is really cool. You can download music to use uh, and play and stream right from um, their store. Uh, and uh, there's Nokia Express, which is a cool little browser that um, saves you data. There's also Data Sense, which is a built-in feature from Windows One where it tries to stay under your data limit if you turn it on. The uh, Indian uh, Nokia 625 also comes with Flipkart eBooks, which is a free eBook store for this phone, and uh, an app service called Your Movies, where you can download free movies uh, legally from that store for I think two months. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. The global edition of the 625 does have LTE. The Indian edition does not, unfortunately, because of the different bands. Uh, but apart from that, uh, that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, again, if you want to know more about the software, do check out our detailed Windows Phone 8 review for that. Um, coming to the camera, the camera app is uh, your, pretty much your stock uh, Windows Phone camera app. The Lumia uh, 625 has a pretty low mid-range 5 megapixel camera uh, with a f2.4 lens uh, and single LED flash. In strong lighting conditions, it's okay, it's pretty good. Uh, but as the low, as the light qual, as the sorry, light conditions drop, uh, so does the camera quality, and there is a lot of noise that uh, you will see pop up. It's not like it, even though Lumia phones do have a reputation of being the best cameras on smartphones because of the high end models, the low end models aren't that great. Um, this is just an okay camera at best. Um, nothing too great to talk about. Uh, call quality is also pretty good, of course, since this is a Nokia phone. The earpiece is fairly loud. Um, it does sound a little bit stressed out if you put it to full volume, but it's not too bad. There's also a secondary, there's supposed to be a secondary noise cancelling microphone somewhere, but I can't see where it is, um, which is supposed to block out ambient noise. The loudspeaker, like I said, is really tiny, a little bit disappointing. Um, coming to battery life, the battery life is not too bad at all. Actually, it's powered by a 2000 mAh battery. Um, which means you can get about a day of uh, usage. Don't expect more from it though, because you will have to charge it at the end of every day, uh, especially if you use 3G. So to conclude, I know this is a pretty long video, but to conclude, the Nokia Lumia 625 is a pretty nice phone. I, th I think it's worth the price tag, especially if you're looking for an LTE phone. Um, if you get it in India, you do get a lot of services with it, like the uh, your movie service and the Flipkart ebook service, which is pretty cool. Um, it is very colorful. The build quality is really nice. Um, I think it's still. I still think this design is very stylish. Uh, the large screen is nice to have. I know the resolution is a little bit of a disappointment, but it's not too bad at all, to be very honest. Um, and I think Windows Phone is really fast in this price range. I don't think you can get an Android phone that could do better unless you get a no-name uh, Chinese manufacturer, maybe. Um, so yeah, I think it's definitely worth it, even in spite of the compromises. And there are definitely some compromises in this. Um, of course, if you want a better idea, do check out our post or unleashthephones.com for our full review of the Nokia Lumia 625 with lots of pictures and stuff. And as always, if you guys have any questions about the 625, do let me know in the comment section below. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys.